At only 17 years old, Richie Valens became rock and roll's first Latino star. Richie Valens opened the door for future Latino stars. He was a true pioneer of Chicano rock, and he influenced future groups like Carlos Santana, Los Lonely Boys, and Los Lobos. Richard Valenzuela was born on May 13, 1941, in Pacoima, California. In 1958, he was discovered by the president of Delphi Records and was rebranded as Richie Valens. It was probably necessary for him to get the attention of the radio. Radio was still pretty closed medium back in the late 50s, and they weren't going to play Richie Valenzuela. Most of the DJs couldn't even say it. Valen's first single, Come On Let's Go, hit number 42 on the Billboard charts. But it was his second single, Donna, named for an old girlfriend, that wound up being his biggest success. The song hit number two, then became famous again in 2001, after airing on the series That 70s Show. I think Richie Valen's tune, Donna, was important in the early days of rock and roll, and probably still is today, because it was such a relatable song. It was the opposite of, of Come On Let's Go, which was the rock and roll record. It was a balance because it was a slow, beautiful balance. Ballad. On the B-side of Donna, Valens recorded the classic hit La Bamba, which would become his trademark. A top 25 hit in 1959, La Bamba made a comeback in 1987, when it was covered by Los Lobos for the Richie Valens biopic starring Lou Diamond Phillips. Richie Valens made a true star out of Lou Diamond Phillips when he starred as Valens in the biopic La Bamba. This was a great platform where Phillips was able to showcase not only his acting skills, but his singing skills and his dancing skills. On February 3rd, 1959, Richie Valens, Buddy Holly, and the well-known DJ The Big Bopper died in a tragic plane crash. The event was memorialized by singer Don McLean in the 1971 hit American Pie as the day the music died. I think Richie Valens had a huge impact on music considering that he was only really in the music business for actually less than a year. It was something like eight months which was like crazy. But he had some wonderful records, and those records are everlasting. He was just a, unfortunately a shooting star. 